I have never seen Kamala Harris give a two and a half minute answer to anything. This is going to be deeply cursed. What do you say to young voters who disapprove of the way Biden is handling the Israel Hamas war? One of your many strengths as a surrogate is your connection to young people. Mm -hmm. Oh, I yeah. That to oh, be true. Mm, yeah. Ah, so true. That's so true. Mm -hmm. Now, voters between 18 and 29 years old stand out as disapproving of the way the Biden administration is handling the Israel Hamas war. Not to even speak of like people who are too young to vote. I bet you your average young left leaning person in like high school is probably unironically a Houthi supporter. Like imagine going to high school these days as like a you're, you're like a sophomore or something and you come in and there's a bunch of like white Midwesterners who are wearing the fucking green headbands, <laughs> you know? In solidarity or Nazis. Yeah, it's all Nazis or like Houthi militants. Um, they do not support sending weapons and money to Israel. They are advocating for a humanitarian ceasefire. How does the administration respond to the concerns of this very important part of the Democratic voter base? So kind of kind of wild, by the way, that the first time I'm seeing this question being posed is to Kamala Harris and not to Joe Biden. Like, I know that Joe Biden is ancient and like risks toppling over and shattering into a thousand pieces uh, anytime a question is asked of him directly. But, you know, this really feels like a question they could have been addressing like three months ago. <laughs> Let's start with this. Um, and you're right, Sonny. In fact, uh, in the fall, I embarked on what I called a, a college tour. Mm -hmm. And FYI, this is the view. Yeah, 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 their demographic is older women kind of weird. Yeah, no, this is, I mean, that's probably why they have Kamala Harris on as well. But yeah, also, I'm just realizing that the font and colors they've chosen for the on top, it looks just like, um, uh, what's that game show where you have to you have to pose your answers in the form of a question? What is Jeopardy? That's it. Yeah. And met with over 15,000 students um, across the country. Um, I, I just have to say, I love Gen Z, by the way. Yeah, if only they liked her back. I, I think it's a spectacular generation. And, but all of that to say, you're absolutely right. I have talked with young people, many around the country, and I've heard them, I see them, and I understand. Holy shit. I know I'm pausing. I know I'm pausing. Just like the f***ing like reflexive liberal aphorisms, the the like need to, you know, we hear you, we see you like, what, what are you, what are you saying? You know? I understand. I understand. Um, you are I valid. Think it's important that while we understand where they're coming from, which I do, that we not lose sight of the context which is, let's just go back to October 7th. Do you, do you think she's mad right now because she was coming here for like a softball interview with The View? And then one of the ladies here is like, by the way, um, everyone under 30 despises you, thinks you're a war criminal and wants you dead. Uh, would you mind answering to that? And she's like, oh, see, like internally, she's like, <sighs> you know, she can, I, I'd be mad. If I was in her position, by the way, I'd be mad because you know fully, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden know what they're doing is wrong. The reason that they're not pressing too hard in Israel is because of Iran and broader like geopolitical stuff. But they know for an absolute fact that Netanyahu is a lunatic. They know they, they, there's no way they don't. It's not like they're ideologues or whatever. They didn't pledge allegiance to Israel. They know there's just they, they, they you know, they got their they got their fingers in a lot of pies, you know, so to speak. They're not dumb about this. They're just, you know, morally abhorrent. The uh, so so she knows she's bullshitting. You can't even rely on dogma. I don't know. Vosh Biden seems like a pretty sincere and zealous Zionist. No, no, no. I fully believe that Joe Biden's a Zionist. I also fully believe he thinks Netanyahu is a lunatic. Netanyahu. Wait, lunatic. Did I even misspeak there or do I just did I just think that I did? I think that Joe Biden is both a Zionist and somebody who thinks that Netanyahu is a lunatic. You know, I think that he thinks that Netanyahu is being a brutal, uh, you know, brutally, uh, unnecessarily callous with the loss of civilian life and is mishandling the situation and is f***ing up his re-election chances. The one time I don't misspeak. 
we can't deny the significance of a vicious, brutal attack that caused the death of 1,200 innocent people. A lot Re oh, really? Okay, well, the, the fears of Gen Z are assuaged. You're telling me, as Israel now has killed more than, what, 23,000 innocent civilians? You're telling me something called October 7th happened? Well... I bet you your average 18 to 29 year old hasn't heard about that one. <laughs> I think once they go on Wikipedia and look up what you're referring to, they'll come right around on the, you know, right around on the subject. It's the first time I'm hearing about October 7th. Yeah, me too. I, I, I hadn't heard about it, you know. 23,000 with 6,000 presumed dead under rubble. Okay, okay, that sounds like a lot. But if you heard about October 7th, According to reports, children in Gaza are dying from cardiac arrest because they haven't been able to sleep in months. The constant bombardment has caused their bodies to constantly release adrenaline, which is damaging their hearts. Okay, but have you heard about October 7th? Okay, I, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. But have you Googled October 7th? I know, I know. I hadn't heard about it either until this smart little lady called Kamala Harris pointed it out to me. A lot of them young people who are just attending a concert. Yeah. Women who were brutally assaulted and raped. And again, as someone who spent a lot of my career focused on those kinds of crimes. The whole yeah, as a, as, a, as a California DA, were you often dealing with Houthi and insurgency in like San Francisco or whatever? Yeah, you know, uh, I, I, I saw this pretty often. Yeah, this is a pretty standard paraglider assault on a concert, you know? <laughs> Yeah, this is just, uh, you know, just uh, just another day on the job. L.A. is wild. Yeah, Los Angeles is crazy, bro. You don't even know. You have no idea how many paraglider assaults. You know, all the fuck, the chopper strafing. Oh, man. October 7th, by the way. Horror of it. Mm -hmm. And all of that to also then say Israel has... A right to defend itself. Oh, the bro. <laughs> so I hadn't thought about it that way. That's true. I had always proceeded in my streams on the assumption that Israel doesn't have the right to defend itself, and I hadn't heard the argument that they could. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm really being brought around on this. Vosh, this is just worse than Biden dog. Yeah, in a way, it's almost praxis to ask this of Kamala Harris because Kamala Harris is a fucking retard who couldn't emote or engage in, like, uh, charisma to save her life, you know? Kamala Harris is shockingly uncharismatic. Uh, terrible at reading the room. This is stuff... By the way, stuff like this really does make me wonder because oftentimes, like... Okay, I know that Joe Biden is very old, and Joe Biden also has a bad stammer, so that interferes with the charisma a little bit. Kamala Harris has neither of these issues. She's young, you know, by politician standards, uh, and she speaks fine. If I was in Kamala Harris's position, I could have bullshitted better than her, easily. And it makes me wonder, like, you have the benefit of literally the world's greatest media training. You could get any instruction on any issue. You have had months to memorize key responses to give in case this question is brought to your attention. You know the polling. You know young people hate you. Why can you not answer this question? You could answer it in a way that is simple, better to the young people, and doesn't make the Zionists in your party angry. So why don't you? Is it because you think that's beneath you? Like, that that's my actual thought. Are you so demonic that you think it would be beneath you to put effort into addressing this controversy like do, do, are you just like cackling in your head you know you you have your little, little bit responses you're giving the we hear you we see you like like internally you're like laughing because you, you you're, you're contemptuous that's the only uh, genuinely because the alternative is to assume that she's so bad at this despite being the number one person who should be good at it her job was a da folks she did legal work. You know you have to be good at presenting information to get into that field, right? I swear to God she used to be more charismatic. You know? I remember hearing her talk back when she was running for the presidency. She was nowhere near as bad as she got afterwards. Did they, did they lobotomize you? After you win? Real quick, is there, is there a deep state? Do they do something? Do they make you easier to control? I don't know. When I see people like Kamala Harris, I wonder. You know? Nah, she was always a bad speaker. Yeah, but not this bad. 
This is unique, man. She was also your senator and DA when you lived in California. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I mean, I didn't like listen to her speeches, but yeah. Do presidents and vice presidents get to sleep? Uh, presumably. I mean, Biden does his like whelp nappy time shit to get out of uh, uh, being interviewed by the press all the time. Joe Biden will be there at the podium. He'll do like a press conference where he'll be like, oh, yeah. I just took a big dump. And then the press will like all they'll all like stand up with their like microphones held out, and he'll be like, "Up, oh, bye," and then he'll leave. And the uh, you know, you know, um, House Speaker will go and take his place. He's got to be getting some sleep. I like him more now. So relatable. Yeah, a very sleep deprived person, Killjoy Forty K. Self, we would, and how it does matters. There have been far too many innocent Palestinians that have been killed. Uh -huh. The president and I and many members of our administration have been very clear. I've been over, on over, I think, 14, 15 calls that the president has had with Bibi Netanyahu. 14 or 15 phone calls over the course of like three and a half months of a genocide? That You're bragging about that? Oh, oh, 14 or 15 phone calls. Oh, I see. So it's like, so about the number of phone calls you would do if you were running out to get groceries for a party and wanted to call people to ask what they wanted, where it's like, oh, wait, they didn't have the chips you specified. Which chips do you want? Yeah, I can send you pictures. All right. Uh, we don't want any of these. Okay, I'm calling you back. Okay, well, what about pretzels? That Like, so yeah, you know, that <laughs> it's three months genocide. Okay. 15 calls, one for every 200 dead children. Yeah, there's like, they have like, the in, in the Oval Office, they have one of those like crayon drawn like thermometers that go up the more fundraising money you get, except it's 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 Palestinian babies that have been mulched. Uh, so they're like, oh, another 200. Let's give Netanyahu a call. Good job, man. Good job, BB. And then you like, you know. Great job. No, it's like an advent calendar. <laughs> you can see you get a little, you get a little chocolate. <laughs> when you reach the next 200. Biden and Netanyahu have not spoken in three weeks amid split over war. This is from two days ago. The Israeli leader has reportedly ignored repeated U.S. calls to discuss a possible settlement on how Gaza be governed. I, lo I love being the most powerful country in the history of the planet, dude. I love having the military might to nuke and pulverize and occupy whatever we want. And meanwhile, this one genocidal lunatic can just do or say whatever the he wants and no like oh you you don't screen a call from the oval office you f it's just this, this is this is the i i i am unironically doing chauvinism right now as an american i am deeply emasculated by the idea that a call from the oval f***ing office can be ignored by a country that has received like half a trillion dollars in u.s military aid them that why did we give these guys nukes jesus f I, I, I am unironically doing this, like, as a chauvinist. This isn't a bit. I am personally f***ing offended. Don't f***ing screen our calls. Biden! Biden! Send in SEAL Team 6, okay? Anything. Do anything. Make him pick up the f***ing phone. Jesus Christ! Just like a genocide. Like, every day, more innocents die. And meanwhile, Netanyahu... The, because ne cause if you have even a single brain cell rattling around your skull, you know... Israel never had any plan for the Palestinians. They wanted them gone. Where do they go? Do we kill them all? They never had an answer to that. They don't have an answer. They're not going to pick up your calls, bro. You've given them all the permission they needed to. Now they're just going to screen your calls as you do all the horrible shit you quietly hoped they wouldn't do. You, oh my god. Seal Team 6. Seal Team 6. Guys, everyone, every, all the Western chauvinists rise up, okay? We need to summon. We're, we're, we're all praying, okay? We need to summon SEAL Team 6, okay? We need, we need some wacky shit to happen, all right? It's time. We're doing a coup. Who gives a f***? They're barely a democracy anyway. Okay, we're doing a coup. Do you have any idea how funny it would be if America cooed Israel? I know it's not going to happen, but have you considered how funny it would be? Have you even thought of how funny it would be? It would be so f***ing funny. Also, who cares? They are, they're already our f***ing country like we already basically they're just our military base like who gives a f who, that you can't coup them you can't coup a military base we already control you know it's time the israeli right wing would be very upset I, well there are lots of wacky things that could happen to them i don't fuck it's time screen our f calls you piece of shit about what israel must do to protect innocent civilians um we all want this to end as soon as possible
and how it ends matters. So keep in mind, this interview literally happened when Netanyahu was screening, Bi uh, screening uh, Biden's calls. Nice. Great. Phenomenal. Excellent. Fantastic.